Hi there, Alicia and Niam. Uh, okay, so I'm uh, in my hotel room here in Moncton, and I'm sitting down to answer some of your questions. The first question that you had is, um, let's see, asking me about being born in Toronto, um, Toronto being as multicultural as it is, and asking if that's had any influence on my work. Um, you know, I think that I was born in Toronto, and I think that the fact that Toronto was so multicultural is what allowed my parents to meet. My father is French-Canadian, born in northern Ontario, and came down to study when he was young, and my mom arrived in Canada in 1970 from Guyana. So Toronto is the kind of place where people from all over can meet and fall in love, and that's what happened with my parents. We didn't actually stay in Toronto for my very young childhood. We moved to Barrie um, before my before my kindergarten years, and then I did kindergarten to grade early grade three in Calgary, grade three and four in rural Manitoba, and then we moved back to Ontario, and I did the rest of my schooling up until the end of high school in Kitchener-Waterloo. So I went to a French school uh, up until grade eight in Kitchener, and then a um, Catholic girls' school, St. Mary's, in, in Kitchener. So some of the places that I lived when I was very young were actually not that multicultural and were actually somewhat closed-minded. And those experiences very much shaped who I am emotionally because I felt excluded. Um, I felt a lot of confusion, didn't quite understand what other than like why color, it seemed to me that it was about color and why color mattered so much as far as being let in or not let into um, groups of friends. And also uh, in Manitoba in grade three is when I switched from an all English classroom to an all French classroom. And that helped a bit. I think that in my young mind, um, French Canadians had a better understanding of what it was to live a minority lifestyle. Lifestyle. I didn't, wouldn't have used that word back then. But what it was to feel like a minority in an Anglo-Canadian context. Um, I think I felt like the French Canadians that I knew. The franco manitobain that, uh, that I joined um, were a bit more, a bit more welcoming. So those experiences have definitely shaped who I am emotionally, and the, that has informed how I respond, uh, how, how I've responded to my life. And even when I moved to Toronto and started going to university in Toronto, uh, I still had a lot of mm, experiences that had shaped me, and my perspective was really much more shaped from early experiences in places where I was the only brown person in my class, maybe sometimes the only brown person in my school. And yeah, so Toronto seemed more like a bit of a utopia to me.